as a small business owner, my blog at blog.beckybertram.com is an important part of my marketing strategy. Since my only asset is myself and my knowledge, helping others out by sharing that knowledge is a way of building confidence in my clients that I can give help to their organization as well. My blog has been running for several years and was running on Windows SharePoint uh, Services 3.0 using the blog site template. I wanted to upgrade my blog to the most current version of SharePoint, uh, SharePoint Foundation 2010. Unfortunately, my current hosting company told me that they didn't have a straightforward upgrade plan for me. They were going to charge me a lot of money to perform the upgrade, and they told me that they couldn't promise me that the IDs of each list item would get migrated correctly. This would be catastrophic for my site because each blog posting's URL inc uh, includes the list item ID. If you look up here, here it is. If the IDs didn't get retained during the upgrade process, uh, people linking my blog postings externally would now find that their links would possibly be linking to the wrong posts, which wouldn't be good. I needed a solution that would allow me to copy my list items as is to a new SharePoint 2010 site. As a side note, I also during this process decided to get my hosting done with another St. Louis company. Uh, I live in St. Louis and I thought I'd support a fellow St. Louis company by going to FP Web. Um, so during this process, I needed to migrate my content from my old WSS 3.0 site to a new SPF site hosted on a different server. I talked to a friend at Metalogix who graciously allowed me to use the Metalogix SharePoint Site Migration Manager 2010. Although I wasn't able to migrate my content directly from my old blog to my new blog, I was able to migrate the content from my old blog to a new 20, SPF 2010 site that I had on a local virtual machine. From there, I was able to detach the content database and provide it to my new hosting uh, provider, who then attached it to my new site collection on their server. The reason is for this, um, for this is that uh, for IDs to remain intact, uh, you have to use the server, SharePoint server side API. I mean, that's how you have to do it, and Metalogix code would have to do that. Um, and clearly, FPWeb wasn't thrilled about installing a third party tool on their server to make the migration happen. But they were able to uh, use the content database that I gave them. So, during the course of this video, what I want to show you is just how I went through the process of doing the migration itself. So what you can see here is uh, my old blog uh, at blog.beckybertram.com and here I've got a blank blog site um, that I just have on a local virtual machine. So what I did was start my new uh, SharePoint Site Migration Manager. I'm logged in uh, to the old site and I'm logged in locally to the new site. You can see different icons to indicate um, that we're using web services to connect to the old WSS 3.0 site uh, and we're using the local uh, object model here to be able to do the import into the local SharePoint site. To perform the migration is very easy with this tool. I'm simply going to select the lists that I want to copy from the old site which includes my basic blog lists of posts, categories, and comments and some additional custom lists I have on the site which I want to bring over. I'm simply going to right click on them and say copy lists. Then I'm going to go to my new site and I'm going to say paste lists. The, there's a whole set of configuration options I could use but for my purposes there are really only several options I needed to select. Number one, instead of doing a full copy, I'm uh, doing a custom copy and I'm specifically overwriting the lists. That's because the out-of-the-box blog template comes with some built-in uh, sample categories in one sample post, as you could see from here. Uh, if we were to just append all the blog entries uh, and categories onto the end, um, we would run into that situation I was describing earlier where the IDs would all be all messed up because they would move along incrementally. I specifically need each existing category or blog posting to be overwritten by the uh, contents of the old site. The next option here is again this key that says preserve IDs on items and folders in the list. This is pretty much all the settings I need to uh, specifically set and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the run button. What this is going to do is if I look at the details I'm actually going to see the processes it carries out. It's going to give me a stack trace um, essentially that tells me exactly what's happening and what the status is. 
So you can see that it was adding the new categories list, which actually was overriding the existing categories list. Shows you the URL actually of the old and the new uh, target. And you can see as it's happening. The only error we ran across is simply that the user from the old account didn't get copied over to the new site for obvious reasons. At this point, I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to watch the whole process as it happens. Um, and I'll pick up when the process is completed. All right, now you can see that the process has completed. It's copied every single item that I asked it to. And we can see the whole trace of what it's done. So if we look now, we'll see that voila, uh, on the new site here, you can see that now it looks just like the old site. And we see the job name here that it completed. What's nice is I actually, if I wanted, could go back and view the log. So if I uh, went through this process multiple times, I actually could see what the finished result was. So let's see what happens. So if I go back to the, uh, the blog on the SP2010 site, clearly I've not applied my custom master page and custom branding to this new site. But in terms of content, we can see that clearly all the content has been copied over, including the IDs. If I click on this, we'll see that this has an article ID of 138. The same goes here. If I click on this, this awesome also has an ID of 138. So it has been able to copy over successfully. Um, and furthermore, if I look at all the site content, I will see that all my libraries are there, just like on my existing site. So there you go. Uh, I have to say I'm a big fan of the tool. Um, I had never used it before and I found it to be incredibly easy to use um, and especially in a scenario like mine where I had very specific requirements. Uh, this took a lot more time than me try uh, less time than me trying to um, install a SharePoint uh, Windows SharePoint Services 3.0 server and then walk through the upgrade process in my own. Um, I already had an existing SPF site uh, server set up. I just could easily migrate the content into it. And that is how I did it. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, content helpful, and if you're walking through the same kind of process, I do recommend the product. Thanks.